Today, I'd like to uh, recognize Councillor Thompson and uh, Senator Meredith and um, Rosemary Sadler of the Ontario Black History Society um, and all of you who, by being here, are supporters of, of Fort York. And uh, boys and girls, welcome to you too, especially. Uh, we hope that you're going to learn and enjoy a lot of things today. We want to welcome you, first of all. I know I speak on behalf of all of the organizers of today's event. Uh, we want to welcome you to this place where Toronto was literally born for this very special occasion. Because today, we are celebrating the civic holiday throughout the province of Ontario. But it's the only holiday with different names in different Ontario citizens, uh, cities, as each municipality recognizes the accomplishments of a local hero or historic figure. But here in Toronto, of course, it is Simcoe Day, named after my ultimate predecessor, the first Lieutenant Governor, John Graves Simcoe. In 1793, along with the then Queen's Rangers, he built a garrison camp right here to protect the newly founded town of York and its harbour. Through five years in office, Simcoe introduced many initiatives and institutions that would forever shape our future as a people. They continue to influence us to this very day. He built Young Street to enhance fur trade to the north. He established Dundas Street, which connected Hamilton and Toronto, and of course still does today. He established our system of courts, trial by jury, and English common law. But his greatest legacy was his introduction of legislation to end slavery.